Hi everyone, I just thought I'd show you a little clip of my little dog as um, she's always barking in all my videos and uh, this is Sherry and she's a little Jackaranian and she's nearly five years old and she's absolutely crazy <laughs> and she's always barking so I thought I'd just quickly show you her at the beginning um, of this video And um, what I've come to share with you today is um, some craft shopping that I did when I recently went to Lincoln. Last weekend I went there with my daughter um, for the weekend. And um, you will have seen the little video at the, at the start just showing you um, what Lincoln is like. And on the way up to that little hill that you will have seen, um, that's called Steep Hill. And there's lots of very little, lovely little quirky shops on the way up there. So um, one of the shops that we went in was um, just like a little gift type of shop. And I bought this lovely little bowl from there. As you can see, it's got a peacock. And I actually thought it was made from wood, but it's not. It's, um, it's from a coconut um, shell coconut shell so that's really pretty so that's one of the things and also there was a bookshop on the way up there second hand bookshop so I popped in there and I managed to get this lovely book called Seaside and Wayside for nature readers and this was five pounds and I'm not sure it could be a first edition because I can't find a copyright in the book anywhere. But, um, I mean, look at the ageing. <laughs> Natural tea dyeing. 
but this has lots of really lovely illustrations. Very nice paper. So, um, as with all books that I buy, I always, I can't always make up my mind whether I want to take the book apart. So I might have to hoard this one for a little while. But um, I just love the cover. So that was one of the things. And in the same shop, that the lady also had lots of secondhand postcards. So I picked a few of those up. And some of them had writing on the back. This is a newer one from 1975. This is Cambridge, which is also about only about an hour from where I live. So that one, I can't see the date on that, but that's got some writing. <clears throat> this is Norwich, which is also about an hour from where I live. And then the other ones I picked up was that one. Some of these are newer, I think. I think this is in Leicestershire. And then this is one in London. And this is the Planetarium. And I don't know what date that is. Although it has got 1979 there. And then these are a couple of European ones. I think this could be German. So that's nice. And this is another one, which I'm not sure could be, that could be German as well or Swiss, not sure. Oh yeah, I think it might be in Switzerland or Austria actually. So they're the postcards. And then when we got to the, the top of Steep Hill, there was a lovely little market going on, little craft market. So I got a couple of packs of charms from a lady on a stall. And these are cat and dog charms. So because I've got some um, little golden books that I'm going to be making soon. So I'll probably be using some of them, some of these on uh, those journals. So they're really nice. I was pleased with them because it's quite hard to get charms over here. You know, you have to go online to get them. Then these are nature themed. And get the bag open, which I can't. Here we go. So, got some leaves, butterflies, dragonfly, flowers, pump that looks like a pumpkin, some little mushrooms. And actually, that's a bee, not a dragonfly, isn't it? So, yep, yeah, that's a nice little selection there. And this lady on the stall next to where I've got the charms, she also had some lovely fabrics. So they were wrapped up like this. So, if I can get that off, just quickly show you. And this was, I think this is a half a metre, I think. So I really like that one. And then this one, I'm not going to unwrap that one, but you can see it's a really pretty floral fabric as well. Um, and then the next day we went to a shop called Paper Chase, which is very well known over here. They sell absolutely gorgeous wrapping papers and um notebooks and uh, cards, all that sort of thing. 
and so in there I got some some really nice vintage washi tape and I also bought some handmade paper so I got two sheets and these quite big sheets so this is an Indian paper it has a green on the back it's a lovely lovely texture and then the other one is a Nepalese handmade paper and it has a lovely handmade texture to the back of it so that's really pretty so but I could have spent a lot more money in there <laughs> there was a lot of nice papers Okay, so I think that's it for today. Um, I'm working on a couple of owl journals at the moment, so hopefully there'll be a video up on them in the next couple of weeks. So thanks for watching and have a nice day and I'll see you all later. Bye.